The name on the lips of a lot of Astros fans right now, Charlie, is Jose Arquiti. We continue to hear about his impending return. Let's start with this question. Where will Jose Arquiti fit into this current rotation? Look, he made that World Series start, which if the Astros had wound, uh, wound up winning the World Series, really would have been etched into Astros lore. The five shutout innings in Game 4, and he made a couple nice starts down the stretch last season. But there really isn't a body of work that anyone should, should be uh, seeing him as the linchpin waiting to join the rotation. Uh, Granke obviously is their number one. Lance McCullers, when pitching at home, has the look of a number two. Framber Valdez has been brilliant for the last month or so. And then you have the couple of question marks. Well, one of them has been answered to the extent that Christian Javier is not coming out of the rotation. The Brandon Bielak era in the Astros rotation has probably lived its natural life. So Urquidy as maybe a five-inning fifth starter. With the trade deadline coming and going, you know, the priority was adding one more major league experienced arm ahead of Ryan Presley. But as we all know, you can't always have all your dreams come true. But it was such a productive weekend for the Astros, even when not getting to play by their choice Friday and by COVID choice on Sunday, sweeping the two with the A's. Well, they have a shot now in the division. They're darn near 100 percent to be in the playoffs. Well, in the playoffs, you don't use a number five starter. So I don't want to say Arkady returning would be much ado about nothing, but I honestly consider it much ado about not much because if you're using four postseason starters max in a playoff series, I don't think Jose Arkady is one of those four. Obviously, uh, he could bolster a bullpen, which is in much need of bolstering. There's a really small sample size to Arkady, which is what you talked about. Less than 20 games com- you know, that he's pitched for the Astros. But that sample size did include, as you mentioned, a World Series run in which he held his own. Does that small sample size combined with the extended time away from the club this year concern you about his ability to produce? Yeah, he's not thought of as a top-tier prospect. Now, plenty of top-tier prospects, Forrest Whitley, Flame, never amount to anything. Not that the door is totally shut on Forrest Whitley amounting to anything, but for all the hype so far, and Mark Appel, another one in, in Astros history. Uh, there are late bloomers, guys who master their craft and exceed their so-called stuff or the expectations of their stuff. But I think there's a little bit of absence makes the heart grow fonder. Oh, only to get Jose Arquiti back. And he had the high-profile start specifically, that World Series outing. You know, take it back to the prior golden era of Astros baseball, And Brandon Backey made a couple of very brilliant postseason starts. Well, overall, Brandon Backey's Houston Astros pitching career, eh. So if you get someone back who can contribute even in a modest role to help fortify that bullpen, that is a boon. But Jose Arquiti is not going to be some magic elixir stirred into the Astros drink that, well, they're all set now. Well, if Verlander is done for the season, uh, if Arquiti can at least be what he was last season— which was a a sub four ERA pitcher. Do the Astros have enough to make another World Series run? Sure, but they're just one of at least a half a dozen teams that can argue the same. The Yankees have been hit with a barrage of injuries, even more substantial probably in total than the Astros so far. The Rays have been fantastic. They're both going to be in the playoffs. The Indians feel they have enough pitching depth that they could trade away headache Mike Clevenger and still have the goods boost their offense some. They're going to be in the playoffs. The White Sox are legit. Obviously, the A's are a real threat. So those five plus the Astros, those are six teams that over the course of three weeks are all capable of winning a best of three series, then a best of five series, a best of seven series, flip the coin, any of them can be taken out, especially in that best of three. So the last two in is the wild cards from among the B-listers in the American League. Postseason baseball, it is educated, sophisticated crap shooting. If you're in the postseason, as we've seen wild cards win the World Series, starting with that one game, win or go home. Uh, it can be done. The Astros have a shot. Is it a great shot mathematically? No. But other than the Dodgers, there's probably no team with more than a 10% chance of winning the World Series. The point is to be one of those teams and then see what you do in October. 